Okay, so this is just going to be another example on balancing chemical equations. And what we're going to do is we're going to balance each element one at a time, and we're going to keep a running count of how many of each type of atom we have. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and assign coefficients of zero to all the chemical species in this reaction here. And when you're choosing an element to start with, remember, <clears throat> Start with an element that appears only once on either side of the equation. So in this equation here, if you look at it, you can start with nitrogen, you can start with hydrogen, but don't start with oxygen because oxygen appears twice on the product side of the equation, once as O2 and once as H2O. So I'm going to choose arbitrarily, I'm just going to choose nitrogen. So I'm going to choose the side of the equation that has the most nitrogens. and from the looks of it, it looks like we have a tie. It looks like this side has two nitrogens and this side also has two nitrogens. So I'm going to give both of these guys a coefficient of one. So that means on the product side we have two nitrogens and on the reactant side we have two nitrogens, one times four, four hydrogens, one times three, three oxygens. Okay. So now I'm going to balance hydrogen. We have four on the, on the reactant side, so we need four on the product side. So, and for every uh, water molecule there's two hydrogens, so I'm going to have two times something equals four. X is equal to four over two, or simply two. So I'm going to put a two here. That gives us four hydrogens and two oxygens. So now we're not, we're not quite done yet. We still have to balance oxygen. We have three on the left and we have two on the right. Well, two of our oxygens come from this one, so really we only need one coming from this one. So we need something two times something equals one right? X equals one half. So I'm going to put a one half here. Notice that one half of two is two and that gives you a total of three oxygens on the product. So all of these elements are now balanced and they're balanced mathematically but they're not balanced chemically so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply all of these by the, no the denominator two. So this one, one times two is two. This one, one times two is two. One half times two is simply gonna be one. And two times two is four. And this is the balanced chemical equation.